And what about Xichang that stood out among all of the others? As we know, in China, there are three sparsely populated areas which have been used as the space launch centers. Some of them need to be noted here. Let's take a look at the very first one, which is called Jiu Chuan. Founded in 1958 in Gansu province, the Jiu Chuan Satellite Launch Center is the country's early space and where most launchers and tests have been conducted. It is huge, about 2,800 square kilometers, and the climate means that around 300 days each year are suitable for launches. The center is mainly used to send satellites into lower and medium orbits with large orbital inclination angles. And there is also the Taiyuan Satellite Launch Center, situated in the capital of North China's Shanxi province. It was founded in March 1966 and came into full operation in 1968. Surrounded by mountains, Taiyuan lies at the altitude of 1,500 meters. Its dry weather makes it ideal for launching solar synchronous satellite. And of course, here is Xichang as well. China also has the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. It is located in the Liangshan Yi Autonomous Prefecture of southwestern China, Sichuan Province. It's designed mainly to launch powerful thrust rockets and geostationary satellites. The center was completed in 1983. And this is important. The ideal time for launching satellites from here is from October to May. And finally, but not last, here's Wenchang. There is also a new satellite launch center that is called Wenchang being built in the very southern part of China in Hainan province. It will be the country's fourth satellite launch center. Hainan, of course, is closest to the equator. Its lower latitude means that the centrifugal force is greater, making launches easier and less expensive. The center is planned to be into operation by the year 2013. Having said that, though, probably you have noticed why the launch center this time has been chosen be to be in Xichang. It is really the Xichang Satellite Launch Center in southwestern China, Sichuan province. This time it's going to host that mission. The space vehicle launch facility there is primarily used to send up powerful thrust rockets and geostationary communications and weather satellites. It is notable as a site of Sino-European space cooperation with the launch of the first two double star scientific satellites in December 2003. It was actually there, the first space mission launched by China to investigate the Earth's magnetosphere. The mission formally ended on October 2007. And back in 1990, the U.S. made Asia Sat-1 commerce communication satellite was launched on the first commercial flight of the Long March 3 rocket. Xichang Satellite Launch Center is China's takeoff point in the international satellite launch market. And also in 1990, Xichang launched Pakistan's first satellite into orbit. Up to now, Xichang has sent up a total of 56 domestic and foreign satellites into space. And Xichang has the geographical advantages of being at relatively low latitude. That's all of China's geostationary satellites have been launched from Xichang, as well as foreign geostationary satellites launched by Chinese boosters. And also Chinese officials have been indicating interest in conducting additional international satellite launches from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. China is not working on her own, in fact, when it comes to space exploration. The country is also assisting others on much missions as well. In fact, China has been quite enthusiastic about international cooperation in this field. For example, launching satellite for others. As we mentioned earlier, the launch of the Asia Sat-1 marked China's first commercial launch. And of, of that date, China formally entered the international space industry. So far, seven sizes of long march vehicles have carried out 30 international commercial launchings. China has launched 42 commercial satellites for 12 countries and regions and has provided carrying services six times. Since 2007, China's space administration has twice delivered a communication satellite to many different places and also has been contributing greatly to 
the mission. And this year, China has signed contracts to place satellites in orbit for both Laos and Bolivia, which brings its international customers to six. In the next five years, China aims to launch another 100 satellites or more. The exact number will depend, of course, on the progress of the Chinese space industry and the vast demand of the international market. Compared to other space industry front runners like the United States and Russia, China has invested relatively little into space technology development and yet has made remarkable achievements. As you may see, there is still a lot of space can be explored in terms of assisting others to explore the outer space. China definitely thinks so, and that is why the country is working on her moon.